welcome or welcome back to Penny's Two Cents. It's your girl Penny. And today, guys, I got something extra special for you. First off, I'm going to ask you a question. Here's the question How many of you love funnel cakes? Let me know in the comments below, guys. Let me know. I was on Facebook. And if you're in the Columbus area, I'm going to tell you the name of this uh, truck. It is Glazem Gourmet Funnel Cakes. I'll put the name right up here so you know exactly how to spell it. You can look them up on Facebook and see what funnel cakes they have. But it's Gourmet Funnel Cakes, guys. Glazem. It's Glaze Um. Gourmet Funnel Cakes. That's the name of it. So anyway... What did I pick? <laughs> Look at this, guys. Probably saw it in the thumbnail. I got a turtle. I got, what's the other one? A strawberry crunch in the middle. And the one on the other end right here is the Cine cream. I got the flight. So this is the three flight. I paid third, or I paid $25 for the three flight. Um, they're normal funnel cakes. The bigger ones are about yay big. And single single one of the bigger ones is $15. Single one of the little ones is $10 a piece. But if you get them in three, it's $25. So anyway, great packaging. I love their packaging. Let's hope that, let's pray that these are good, right? So I'm going to taste test them for you. I'm going to rate them. One being the worst, 10 being the best, or somewhere in between. And if that all sounds good to you guys, I please ask you to subscribe. Show the subscribe button some love, guys. It's down below. Click it, boop it, smash it. It's free. It's easy. And if you've already subscribed or if you don't want to subscribe, I understand. But can you give me a thumbs up? Just ask you for a little support for my channel, guys. So anyway, let's get into these things. My question is now, which one should I try first? And how do I get it open? Do you guys ever fight with plastic containers? Oh, man. I fight with them all the time. Okay. Let's get this straightened out here. I think I should start with the cinnamon one first. Kind of work my way down. Cinnamon, then the strawberry crunch. I'm just going to pick it up. They gave me forks, but I think I'm just going to pick it up. They're still nice and warm. So this is called the Cine Cream. And if you got this one by itself, it's $10. So it's about as big as a round of a softball, maybe a little bit bigger. Ooh, I'm gonna show it to you, but it's a little drippy. You see that? Oh, I'm gonna get a bite, guys. Oh my goodness. Mmm. One more. Hold on. OMG. I can't believe what I'm tasting right now. Okay, I want to tell you what I'm tasting like in the base of it. I'm not talking about the flavorings in it. I'm talking about the funnel cake itself. So everybody's had uh, funnel cakes at fairs and stuff. And like I said, do you like funnel cakes? Comment below. Everybody has had like funnel cakes at the fairs and such. Okay, this, this isn't that. This is definitely gourmet. This is like a good funnel cake mixed with like a good like cake donut mixed with like a crispy waffle you take all those three things and buy them make them together they have a baby or whatever you want to call it that's what this is now the cinnamon on this is good it's giving me the french toast vibe as well i mean it's oh, i want you to see this really quick this is why i'm saying it's like a donut the sun's not going to show you it's cooked, right? It's not raw, but it's nice and like cakey. 
and it's crispy on the outside. I gotta eat this. Okay, I'm not gonna give you a score right now, okay? I'm pretty sure I know what my score is gonna be, probably for all three. But we'll get to that. My hands are gonna be so sticky. I should have brought a rag with some water. Okay. The strawberry crunch. It was kind of cool too. Some of the cinnamon juice is on the bottom. I want to show it to you. Oh, my strawberry just fell off. There's a quick close up that's going to drip everywhere. My strawberry just fell off. I'm going to put that back right over here where I'm going to take a bite. Where am I taking a bite? Right here. Oh my goodness, guys. Here we go. Oh, I gotta do one more bite. Okay. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have a sugar overload. Let's rewind for a minute. That cinna cream one. That white like cream is like a powdered sugar cream cheesy like glaze like you put on cinnamon rolls cinnamon sugar throughout that that's what I'm tasting on that cinnamon cinnamon cream one okay the strawberry crunch one it has like these little strawberry crunches like you would have like on those um strawberry bars that you buy from back in the day they still make and a fresh strawberry on there with some more of that powdered sugar cr cream cheese glaze oh my god which one do I like best? It would depend on my mood. Right now, I mean, they're both really good. I love the texture of both of them. The strawberry one probably right now is better. Just because it's, it's something I was craving, like a strawberry something. But they're both very good, guys. They're both very good. Okay, let's try this turtle one. I see walnuts on this. Chocolate. <sighs> caramel. You see that? Let's go for a bite. <laughs> mm, my goodness. My brain is saying, what? What are you eating? It's so delicious. What is this? I never had a funnel cake like that. With the nuts on this one, it kind of reminds you of like a cinnamon roll. But I don't taste cinnamon in it, okay? I taste the chocolate. I taste the caramel. But with the nuts in it. It's like you married a cinnamon roll with a funnel cake with a cake donut. Oh my goodness, these are so good. Okay, so if you're in the Columbus, Ohio area, and funnel cakes are really good donuts, or this whole experience intrigues you, I would say get on Facebook and look this this uh, truck up. Glaze them, gourmet funnel cakes look them up guys I know they travel all around uh, Columbus area Columbus Ohio area I am not mad that I spent $25 to experience this if I get some of my friends to come over and try these I will just pick one but right now I don't even know which one I would pick if I was just gonna pick one and I would just pick a small one because that's all I could eat it one time okay but to do it this way, I wanted you to see three of their flavors. They have um, Fruity Pebbles and Cream. They have an, o or an Oreo Cookies and Cream one. And they have a Strawberry Shortcake one. I bet every last one is good. 
<laughs> oh my goodness, this is delicious, guys. And I bet you, I want to explain my rating scale if you're new to the channel. A five or below is don't waste your money, don't buy that thing, buy something else, okay? A six to a seven is you could try it if you want to. Anything above a seven, I suggest. As it gets closer to a 10, I highly suggest, okay? And I rarely give out 10s. 10s to me are, they're so amazing, I can't believe this thing exists. A 10 to me means I can't make this at home and make it taste like this. Or a 10 to me also means that I'm not going to forget about this thing anytime soon. Okay? That's what a 10 is. Guys, these are a 10. These are a perfect 10. They are so unique. I have never, I've had lots of desserts throughout my lifetime. I have never come across anything that's remotely close to this. I haven't. Like I said, it's like a really good funnel cake. It's like a really good cake donut. It's also like a waffle. You know how the crispy exterior like a Belgian waffle is? It's also like that. It's like you married those things together. Even sort of like a cinnamon roll, like a that kind of a pastry if you married all those things together and you put the separate flavorings on them that's what this tastes like <laughs> please if you're in the Columbus Ohio area please try out this truck if this is your kind of thing and I think you'll be like me you've never tasted or experienced the textures that I experienced in this this these things are amazing if I can, I need to get my friends over here, Shelly, Connie, Julie, Kaylin. I need to get them all over here to try this truck. And I hope, I, I'm pretty sure that they're going to be around in this area because it sounds like they got a few trucks and they go all around the Columbus area. So I surely hope that they get a chance to taste test this because I think they all would be amazed. And I think they all would give it a 10. That's how good these things are. Oh my goodness. So anyway, guys, that's it. But these things are delicious. Oh, I wanted to show you, like like I said, their packaging is super cool. So glaze them. Gourmet funnel cakes. They even got a phone number on there. Their Facebook. What is it? Instagram. Check them out, guys. I'm trying to hold my hand still, and I can't check them out please check them out if you're anywhere in the area if not go on facebook even if you're not in the area oh my goodness if you want to tell them that you saw my review on youtube and i raved about their funnel cakes let them know i think that would be great whatever guys but anyway that's it that's all i have for you today i am so pleased that i did this for like i said i spent 25 dollars I am not mad at it because I experienced something I've never experienced before. And like I said, the small ones by themselves are $10 a piece. So if I come again, I'm going to have to pick one. I might do the strawberry cheesecake one next. If I come with my friends, I might get that one. Oh my goodness, it's so good. But anyway, that's it guys. That's it. That's all I got for you today. <laughs> On a serious note. If you made it this far in the video, I feel like you're interested in my videos or you've already subscribed or you've, or you've been a long time subscriber, I, I'm going to go on to a serious note, okay? Um, my job, I have been at for almost 14 years. I'm a digital printer. You guys always like to hear more about me and my father who also does reviews with me. I'm a digital printer. My job is shutting down and I will be released in June, on June 16th. Now we've known about it for a while and they told us if we work to our release date, you know, we get a little special pay and stuff like that. And they've been really good about it. They brought in other companies that are looking for good people. And we have like a reverse job fair 
So they came to us and we actually got to talk to the, the other companies. Um, I have a lot of avenues, okay? And I just need some well wishes and some prayers and all those things. Um, if you want to help support me in some way, the well wishes and prayers help out a lot. Also watching my videos and watching the ads <laughs> help out a lot. And I love you guys for it. I love every one of you that keep coming back every day. I really, really do. It Doing these videos and knowing I was losing my job has kept me, I got to say sane, okay? I wasn't so much focused on losing my job. What am I going to do? You know, that wasn't always on my mind. Now it's been on my mind off and on, but it hasn't always been on my mind the whole time doing the videos and talking to you guys and commenting back with you guys and do you know and doing videos with my dad and figuring out what we're going to do videos on that has helped me immensely it has kept me thinking about other things but still thinking about the job situation but it's you know it's kept me sane because if I wasn't doing these videos I would sit around and worry you know what am I going to do next what's my next job going to be and I wanted to say too that I've been a digital printer for 30 years, guys. So I'm looking to do a different career. I think printing is the end for me. Uh, I did it while I was young. It's very hard on the body, standing for however many hours, eight, 10, 12 hours, sometimes 16 hours, standing, lifting, twisting, bending, tugging. I've done that a lot of years, guys, and this girl is tired. She is really tired. <laughs> so anyway, wish me luck. I feel like good things are coming. I feel like um, more doors are opening up. I feel like there's something better coming, and I've been through this before. Uh, my other print job that I started out when I was like 20. They did the same thing. They sold to another, well, first they moved it to a different part of the state. And I moved with the job. And then after I moved with the job about eight years into it, something like that, they sold it. So then I had to find this new print job. And I had to move for this one. But I stayed in Ohio. But this place is selling, well, they're not selling. They're closing down our place and moving all our production to Minnesota. I'm not moving into Minnesota. I, I take care of my father. I can't move him to Minnesota. He's going to stay in Ohio, and so am I. So that's where we're at, guys. I just like you to, y'all want to know things about us. I figured I'd add that in. And also the prayers and well wishes and the good vibes and all that stuff help out too. I believe it does. I believe it helps out. And anyway, that's it, guys. I hope you all have a great lunch a great dinner, or a great late night snack. But most of all, guys, I hope you have a great day. Have a great day, and until next time, bye-bye.